Hola, gringos y gringos, and welcome to... Gringos R Us. Expats with Plan. I'm Mark. I'm Gina. This week, we're going to take you on a tour of El Centro in San Luis Potosí. Coming up right after this. Welcome back. As Mark said, this week we want to take you on a trip that we took to Centro in San Luis Potosí along with Mark and Paulette from the Two Travelers in Mexico and two of our dear friends, yep. Arlene and Anivet, who live just a little bit south of Querétaro. We're going to show you the video. It started out the day early where we all met at a really nice place to have breakfast and, and some of us had breakfast before others yes which you will see and then after breakfast we, we kind actually of... scrolled from yeah. the jardin de tesquiscipan all the way down to el centro and actually walked mm -hmm. around a good bit mm -hmm. and then decided we were going to take the double decker bus tour that was fun and you have to pay attention if you're sitting up on top because some of the power lines we're a little low. They're a little close. Yeah. A little close. So. And a little bumpy. But a lot bumpy. Please enjoy the video. So we're getting breakfast in San Luis Potosí. Wow. And I got enmoladas. Enmoladas? What did I get? What did I get? Enmoladas. I got enmoladas. Anyway, what I wanted to point out is that I've only ever had mole twice in my life and it's been mole negro, which has chocolate in it. And um, this is a red mole and it's good. It's, it's sweet, but it's more peppery, spicy, I guess you could say. Of spice, of spice, mas, it's mas picante, right? And, uh, and so emeladas basically have chicken in them and the mole sauce, can you see? I don't know if you can see that. Ah, no. Okay, anyway. Getting back to eating. We had breakfast at La Tipica, which is across the street from the Jardin de Tequisquiapan. It consistently gets really great reviews. We each ordered from their breakfast combo or paquete menu, which includes fruit with honey and granola, endless cups of cafe americano or olla, which is a sweetened cinnamon coffee, and freshly squeezed orange juice. We did have a hiccup in food delivery, however. Poor Mark, he waited until most of us were almost completely done eating before his meal finally arrived. My meal was 179 pesos, or about $10.50 USD. These things can happen anywhere. After breakfast, we headed out to Avenida Senustiano Carranza, and along the way, we passed some beautiful murals like this one here. We approached the Jardin de San Francisco and looked upon the Templo de San Francisco de Assis, which wasn't open that day. We got to gander at the various types of rock pigeons and always ready to pose. And here's a couple of other birds for you. While we were making our way through various streets throughout the Centro area, we came upon this woman who Paulette recognizes as being someone who rescues dogs. That she has around 30 dogs 
that she has taken off the street and cares for. Paulette was very quick to give her a little bit of money to help care for those dogs who are so very lucky to have someone like that looking out for them. Eventually we found our way in Plaza del Carmen and I just couldn't help myself. I had to take a walk inside this beautiful church called the Templo de Nuestra Señora del Carmen. This is a beautiful Baroque church with a rich collection of 18th century paintings and sculptures. We slowly made our way to the Plaza de las Armas. This is where you will find the beautiful Catedral Metropolitana de San Luis Potosí, a sprawling 17th century Baroque cathedral.
I didn't go too deep into the cathedral because it just so happens on this day they appeared to be having a series of infant christenings. So in being respectful, I made my way back outside to join our party. We found ourselves right back at Plaza del Carmen, and this time we decided we were going to take a double-decker tour bus with Tranvía Turístico San Luis Rey. The bus ride is a really fun way to see some of the major sites of San Luis Potosi. The woman that you may hear speaking is actually a pre-recorded voice that plays on all of the buses in their fleet. It's a very bumpy and somewhat hard ride if you have no butt, so you might want to bring something to sit on. Los españoles jamás pudieron. Esto después de la gran guerra chichimeca que duró. They will provide you a straw hat to wear to help keep some shade from the sun. It is 100 pesos per adult per ticket, and the tour lasts for about an hour.
as we were riding around, we came across this group of people marching to the beat of a drum and some instruments, and we're not even really sure what it was all about, but they were celebrating something pretty important to them. This is a decorative circular 19th century structure that was once used for water storage. Today it is now considered a symbol of the city of San Luis Potosí. After our tour, we stopped and got lunch at La Parroquia. I got an amaretto cappuccino. Arlene got her first ever molletes. I got an enchilada suiza. Mark got another really tough shoe leather overcooked steak. And we can't remember what Annie Vet got. Well, did you enjoy that uh, very interesting tour? Uh, a different perspective and did you like my new toy? <laughs> Gotta have a new toy. Got a new toy. Uh, some of those video files um, were shot 360 degrees with an Insta360 X3 uh, action camera. That was, uh, it, it does allow for some really interesting footage that we were unable to get before. So. Uh, it was a good investment on our part to put that in there. That way we can give you guys a little bit of a different look um, from what we normally can show you. I kind of like, I, I was really excited about the opportunity to possibly do the breakfast, moving around the breakfast table, kind of like that 70s show. It didn't quite come out that good, but it was still fun. Well, there was probably a due to a missing ingredient from that 70s show. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. so, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, it's a whole new toy, different way of looking at things. So I hope you enjoyed it. You may notice we're yet in a different location now mm -hmm. and the scenes keep changing because we're putting them out as fast as we can, but life in the calendar keep turning on and over. So we're now in Valladolid and we are working still on San Luis Potosí and you guys haven't seen really anything of El Tejar yet. So. Yet. It's all coming. It is. Will we ever catch up? No, no. We are about a month, four to six weeks behind in real time. 
um, in our current location as opposed to the videos that we present to you. So although we know it does cause a little bit of confusion, we want to put out some good quality videos and it takes time to pull that together. So I'm um, sorry for the confusion, eh, you know. Um, she has a lot on her plate to do, besides the gorditas. Ah, uh, look, we just went down the road. I got two of my very first gorditas. They gave me the picante habanero, the roja, and the crema. I have vanilla rum from our stay in Veracruz. Mm -hmm. And you got- And I've got tortas. So, Carnitas tortas. Mine is pastor. Yes. Okay. Uh, the next video is going to come out. We're going to take you along when we go to a little mining town called San Pedro, and then it has some names after it. But that is just about 45 minutes outside of San Luis Potosi. We had a nice lunch there with Mark and Paulette from Two Travelers Mexico, and that will be the one coming up next. So, hope that you guys enjoyed this one today. And as always, we are Gringos R Us. Expats with a plan. Remember, we, we are, are doing, doing it. it. You, you can, can too. too. Here's some other videos that you might want to take a look at. Hasta la próxima. Adios. <laughs>